nurses, teachers, care workers, the public sector in this moment all with one thing in common, the cost of living crisis. What do we want? Pay justice! What do we want it? Now! You have to juggle with two jobs. I'm a lecturer. I look after my, my daughter who is not, we have got mental health issues. It is hard. We demand better pay. We demand better sick pay. We demand better for our children. Sometimes you look and you gas and you're electric and you started to cry because you don't know which one to top up first. You can't go without either, but you have to find a way to do it. You have to be working 50, 60 hours so you're able to meet your bills and pay your rent. This is not acceptable in today, the 20 first century. They say come back! We say buy back! Hours before thousands marched through London calling for government action, it was announced the biggest rail strike since 1989 is also going ahead. Charles and Morgan work for Network Rail. With all the hard work that me and my colleagues did during COVID to keep the railway infrastructure moving, to make sure that people across the country were able to get to work, i.e. NHS, get stuff in terms of COVID, from one side of the country to the other, and I've watched X amount of my colleagues pass away and surpass to COVID. For me, it's just a kick in the teeth. In, in London now, where, where the housing market is, is uniquely cursed, um, rents are going up by 200, 300 pound a month. I can tell you for free, my salary's not gone up by 200, 300 pound a month. So it's becoming a case of how do they expect us to survive? How are we expected to put food on the table, to have a shelter over our heads? It's impossible. Soaring inflation, petrol, food and energy prices is taking its toll everywhere. And those marching here say they feel like the government is turning its back on them after so many made such huge sacrifices during the pandemic. Not so, says the Prime Minister, who points to a £21 billion support package for the poorest. I sympathise very much with everybody who's facing pressures caused by the, the cost of living. Uh, but what I would what I would argue is that uh, we will get through it. The Treasury Minister Simon Clark said workers should not have unrealistic pay expectations, warning big rises could push inflation up more. Frankly, it's nonsense to suggest that uh, wages are driving inflation when everybody knows that this is about global energy prices. And on the contrary, uh, the government should be getting its act together and providing real help for working people. For thousands, this is about survival. And without more action, discontent will undoubtedly rise. Adele Robinson, Sky News.